Hello, this is the Black Sabbath 10 year war box set unboxing. It is upside down, which is probably good because I'm going to have to break the foil. Like so. <clears throat> That comes off, I can go on the floor. Right, so there's the front cover. Slowly eases off. I shall put the box down there. And then, obviously I've never seen any of this before either. So that's the art print that comes with it. First album on top is Master of Reality, and this is because it comes with the original thick case. And the top flap Some slight modifications, it's got the modern BMG logo up there, but Sweet Leaf, the Children of the Grave, and into the voider on this. And like all of the albums in this set, they're on coloured vinyl, so Master of Reality on a pleasing blue and black splatter that echoes the colour of the sleeves. It also comes with the poster, again a reproduction, and apparently this is folded in the same way that the poster was folded in the first editions of this album originally. So they've, they've tried to keep it as authentic as possible. Let's get that back in there. Like so. Flat back in, flat side one, flat side two. Try not to damage anything, jobs are good and that goes down there. Next thing is the 10 year war comic book with, you know, clippings, um, and bits and pieces. Interesting, was that about 32 pages I suppose? Next up is, oh another reproduction poster. This is a concert poster from Seattle from 1972. That's, uh, that's rather splendid, nice crisp coloration on that, tidy. Replica of the 10th Anniversary World Tour from 1978 program. Pretty. Yep, like that. The hardback book with, you know, the photos and the bits of words and the bits and the pieces and other people reviewing there's Marilyn Manson on that page, Bon Scott from ACDC, Frank Zappa, Pat Cash, tennis player, Scott Ian from Anthrax, you get the idea. So there's that, nice, pretty. And then there's the rest of the albums, Never Say Die, oh clear and blue splatter, pretty. Again all the, apparently all the colour schemes echo the colours, I mean that's obviously the sky designs there, I'll put those there so they don't zip upside down. This is Technical Ecstasy with a lyric sheet and this is on purple and grey which echoes the wall I suppose and the robot. Sabotage, this one comes in a textured sleeve as did the original. Rather nice clear and crimson, I suppose. Quick, ahem, Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. In the correct gatefold. Just managed to trap the vinyl. With the correct printed inner on orange and, what did you say that is? Purple with grey, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, the volume four album, again, gatefold as it should be, again I've trapped it in the spine there, Ooh. in the swirly bag and on yellow black splatter, back in there like, get in there, so, 
paranoid. <clears throat> Correct gatefold. Swirly bag. Purple on red. Again, it echoes the colours in the sleeve image. Debut album. Purple and black, but in a sort of splatter formation instead, makes perfect sense. Oh, this is all out of line. Tusk, 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 for shame. Then you get the singles. This is a reproduction of a Japanese single of Evil Woman with um, Black Sabbath on the flip. And this is a reproduction of is it Cuban, which is uh, Paranoid <clears throat> with the wizard on the B side, El Mago. And then right at the bottom of the box, you get the Black Sabbath necklet with a chain, which is also a USB stick, which has got all the albums on super high quality um, thing. So, uh, yeah, that is the Sabbath box set. Cool. Thank you very much.